Hey everybody, it's Dr. Levitt here. I am at my office where I just finished up a clinical day, a long day with patients, but I had a story that I wanted to share with you, something that occurred right here at the office um, that was just remarkable, something that I have never seen or heard in 15 years of medical practice just happened. Uh, I figured I'd share it with you here first. So here's how this story goes. It starts off pretty basic. Uh, I saw a man who was in his mid-60s and he was coming in here to establish care, a new patient visit. I spent an hour with him today. Um, he is actually the husband of, uh, of an existing patient of mine. He had been here a couple of times and seen and witnessed the kind of health care I provided to his wife who has a, a chronic autoimmune disease. So he decided he'd make an appointment himself. So today it was it was his turn. So he came in. I already knew him a little bit from my, the little I interacted with him during his wife's appointments. No real big deal. The guy was pretty healthy. Uh, he didn't take any medications. He didn't have any major medical problems. He did talk to me a little bit about his own fears, um, mostly because when he was younger, people that were very close to him uh, had uh, had had some very serious medical problems developed and and died, uh, and that and that sort of sat with him deeply, and he was always kind of scared that something like that was going to happen to him. You know that he had made it to his mid sixties, but he was always living in fear that the that the shoe was going to drop and something bad, some serious medical problem would befall him. And yet he had lived an otherwise very healthy healthy life. Um, he ate well, he exercised a lot, he, he did, did pretty well. Um, we went through a routine medical office visit. I talked to him about his history. I talked to him about the various few things that had happened here and there in his health throughout his life. Uh, we did a review of systems, sort of a head to toe conversation, eyes, ears, nose, throat, heart, lungs, etc. Um, I did a physical exam, all the things that you would expect a doctor to do uh, in, in the physical examination department for a, for a man of that age. Um, and then we wrapped up the office visit. I ordered some laboratory work to check his cholesterol and, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, made a few basic recommendations for him with respect to his diet and his lifestyle and, uh, you know, just pointing his health in the right direction. And then towards the end of the office visit, he, he, he got kind of a little bit emotional. It was sort of surprising. I wasn't sure what was going on. And um, I asked him what was going on. And he told me that this office visit that we had, this conversation, turned his day into, and I quote, one of the best days of my life. He told me this has been one of the best days of my life because of this conversation that we just had. Now, I was I was stunned. I was taken aback by this, um, and I didn't really even know what to say. I felt, I guess, honored and grateful to be a part of an interaction that was so meaningful to him, but at the same time, I felt like, what did I even do that turned this into such a wonderful day? And it turned out, we talked a little bit about it, it turned out that all I did was listen to him and provide sort of a safe space for him to have the conversation about his fears, to talk about his health, um, especially that stuff that happened when he was younger, and to admit that he was always nervous about that, living in this sort of shadow of, uh, of some early childhood traumas and experiences that, that he felt like were creating some anxiety for him. And to have a venue to talk about that um, was something that he had never experienced before in any of his previous healthcare interactions. And I find that sort of sad and, and, and kind of a pathetic tale about how bad of a job we're doing uh, in, in, in healthcare in America right now, that something so simple as spending an hour with a person and you know, providing a safe space for them to have a conversation about their health and their fears uh, is something that's so valuable and so sacred. So I was honored and privileged to be able to provide that, uh, but at the same time, sort of uh, recognizing that we have a lot of work that we could do to improve healthcare here. So anyway, I hope you get something out of that. I certainly did, um, and uh, take good care.